London's meat lovers are being challenged by new research presented at the London School of Economics tonight. Scientist and professor Brian J. Ford claims that contrary to popular belief, man is more of a scavenger than a hunter, and perhaps we're not naturally carnivorous, as some like to claim. Brian, who considers eating meat as one of Britain's greatest addictions, joins us now. Brian, good morning. Morning to you. Well... I was. I, I stopped eating meat when I was 11. And then I started eating chicken again recently, but that's a whole other thing. Um, no, 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 hang on a second. Chicken is definitely not a whole other thing. The hens of the world would be absolutely angry if they heard you say that. Well, no, I know, but but I can't eat animals. Darn tasty, bro. No, I can't, I can't. Uh, so why should carnivores, full, fully-fledged carnivores, the red meat eaters, rethink their diet? Well, of course, we're not carnivores. We're omnivores. We're supposed to eat everything with a bit of meat. And I'm looking tonight at, at whether we're meant to be vegetarians, as the Vegetarian Society claimed. This is a, a new series of lectures which the Top Society, a new group, have set up. They're on topsociety.org. Now, they're vegetarians, and they believe that, that anybody eating meat is doing virtually a sin against humanity. It really shouldn't be done. They're carrying out some terrible act against animals. Brian, are you carrying out this terrible act? Um, yes, I am. I'll tell you why. If you look at the, the anatomy of people, you look at their teeth, their intestines, their eyes, um, we're halfway between carnivores and omnivores. I mean, herbivores, herbivorous animals have a huge appendix. Carnivores don't have an appendix at all, but humans, we have a small appendix, a little one, a beautifully formed, but a small one. And the thing is that we are meant, we really are meant to eat both. But, but why did we start to eat it? The view's always been, you see, that because we developed this great brain, which, which some people have, and I'm not necessarily including politicians in that category, <laughs> and certainly not moi, no, Paul, very nice to hear you too again. But the thing is that, that, that if you look at the way in which we began to eat meat, we must have been eating a lot of meat to develop this big brain, so we can't have been hunters at the time, because you need the big brain to be a hunter. And I couldn't see how it was that we made this step from being, you know, crude apes into being refined humans until we'd already got a source of meat which would allow us to develop the brains and become hunters. So the view is not... I used the word scavenger when I first published this a few weeks ago, but it's not quite the right word. What I believe we did was to follow packs of wolves and then take meat from them when they'd done the hunting for us. 